Hey, it's Vicki with Tri-State RV in Anna, Illinois. And today I wanna to give you a look at this pre-owned 2018 Jayco Eagle 336 FBOK. We'll start off right here on the front of the unit. As you can see, it does have a nice large storage space here and you do have access to your battery. As you can see, I do have it uh, held up by the hook there. You can go ahead and get that closed off. Over here, you do have a huge uh, pass through your basement storage space. This is where your battery disconnect is. It is lighted and that light can be set to where it stays on all the time or motion sensor. Next to that, uh, you have another storage space. This is where all of your water connections are, all of your holding tank uh, valves along with you can winterize from here as well. And again, it does have the light. It's a three-way switch. Uh, one way is motion sensor, one way is on all the time, and then dead center is off. This unit does have awning toppers uh, on all of the slides, which is great because it does help to prevent uh, having to get up there and sweep your slide off or scrape snow off the slide. At the back of the unit, you do have a ladder for roof access, so you can check your roof every three months as recommended by the manufacturer. You do have a backup camera. Over here is your outdoor kitchen. So as you can see, it does have the Capitol Grill. These are very popular. Uh, you also have USB ports out here. There is a place to mount a television, so you do have uh, cable and satellite hookups along with the outlets. It comes with a Capitol mini fridge. Up top, you do have some storage space. And I'm pretty short. This is me on my tiptoes, and I still can't reach those lights, but it's okay, because right here, you've got your switches, and that'll shut them off. I can reach the uh, door, though. Again, I'm five foot four, so not very tall, but uh, I can reach that door. Over here, you do have outdoor speakers. Uh, this is the light to turn your, or the switch to turn your step lights on or off. Uh, just the other side of the pass through. You've got a lighted and power awning. You can see the white LEDs up there. Let's go ahead and get a look inside. We're gonna start off right upstairs in the bedroom. Well, technically the bathroom. It's so right here, we're at the nose of the unit. Uh, as you can see, it's a very large bathroom. Over here, you do have your toilet. If I can get my camera to focus up. Uh, nice large vanity, plenty of storage in here. Got four drawers. Uh, up here is your medicine cabinet. What's really cool about your medicine cabinet, wrong light of the switch. It has LEDs behind it and they are on their own light switch. Over here is your closet. As you can see, it does have tons of shelving space. Uh, you do have a closet rod, of course, more shelving space, and it is accessible from both sides. You just slide the mirror over. And if that's not enough storage in the bathroom, you've got more right here. Very, very deep uh, closet here. <laughs> I can't even reach the back and I'm stretching. So you do have quite a bit of storage in here. Um, nice place to store blankets, pillows, and of course towels. Over here you have a large residential shower. It does have a nice little seat and it does have a skylight overhead which offers a little more headroom. Now back to the bedroom. Uh, as you can see, your bed is on a slide, which offers more walk space. And there is storage underneath the bed. Which, 
Let's see. Ah, those are folding chairs, it looks like. Go ahead and put this back down. Ooh. So you got uh, nightstands on each side of the bed as well. You do have a reading light. Uh, to get it to the yellow color white, um, all you do, if you press it once, you get the blue LEDs. If you press and hold, you get the white LEDs. Uh, over here is your dresser. As you can see, it's a very large dresser. Lots of storage in here. Got a TV up top. And over here, um... You know, you can really use it for whatever you wanted. Um, if you've got small kids that you trust not to try and, you know, do a flying jump out of it, then here's a great place for that. Um, otherwise, it's a great place to store things uh, more long term. That way it's up and out of the way and you have more access to other things in the cabinets. And it also has a ladder. This ladder does fold away so that it's not in your way. Right here outside of the bedroom is all of your controls. So as you can see, all your slide controls, your awning control. Uh, you've got all of your tank controls here. So this will show you, uh, you know, how much is in each tank and your water pump and water heater here as well. Below that, you do have a place to hang coats. You do have the LCI one control. You've got your uh, AC thermostat here, uh, your switches. Here's another bathroom. So you do have a half bath here. Plenty of storage in here. Uh, same thing as with the upstairs bathroom, your mirror does have the LEDs behind it. Next to that, you have a good sized pantry. It does have a motion sensor light in it. In your kitchen here, um, neat little feature is this little pop-up uh, power station here. So you do have the outlets and then you've also got USB ports as well. To put it back in, you just press in that little red tab and push it down. To pop it out, you just push on it and pull it up. You got quite a bit of counter space in here, tons of storage space. If you are running short on storage in this camper, uh, you're probably taking too many things camping with you. Tons of storage. Over here, you do have a three burner Furion stovetop and oven. And below that is a nice deep drawer, great place to store your pots and pans. Not a lot of drawers here, more counter space, another charging port. Uh, up top, you do have a high point microwave and another cabinet over here. Here you have the Thomas Paine recliner set. These are incredibly comfortable. Uh, over here, you do have a nice large couch. What's great about this couch is if you'd like to travel with more people, um, you just take the back cushions off and the seat cushion does come out and fold out into a bed. On each side of that, you do have um, some side tables and there are outlets in each of the side tables. So you could actually put a couple of lamps there or you could just use it to charge your phone. Uh, there are lights up top and then you do have some cabinetry up top as well. Fairly deep too. Over here on your main living slide, you've got your TV, uh, sound bar, nice little fireplace. It looks like uh, it's got the lookalike logs in it. Uh, up top in this cabinet is your radio. And here are some nice deep cabinets or a nice deep cabinet, I should say. Over here is your seating area, which 
the two folding chairs that were under the bed go here with this. Um, you could just leave it as two or you could grab the other two out from underneath the bed and you have extra chairs. There's also um, extra table here. You just pull it out and slide it out. If you'd like to see this unit or any of the other great options we have available for sale here at Tri-State RV, come out and see us in Anna, Illinois, or visit us online at www.tristaterv.com. And before I forget, I gotta show you because <laughs> You can't miss this. This is a residential sized fridge. So right now it's in the locked position. You just open that up. Massive refrigerator, even has an ice maker in it. All right, we hope to see you soon.